What happens at Wellesley and Berkeley, or what is said on Rogan Carlson or on Owen's talk shows, do not by themselves mean that all of the guardrails against anti-Semitism in American society have been removed. But taken together, they demonstrate how anti-Semitic attitudes and statements are increasingly legitimized in mainstream discourse. That means it's no good pretending that Jew hatred is only a problem on just the left or on the right. It exists on both sides of the political aisle, and the obligation of decent people, no matter where their political loyalties lie, to unambiguously condemn them wherever these hate mongers are to be found. That too many otherwise decent people are either ignoring these incidents or downplaying them because speaking out means offending allies rather than political foes isn't just a disgrace. It provides the explanation for why anti-Semitism is coming back into fashion in some quarters where we once thought it had become extinct.